Using this commander is a cardboard declaration that you hate laughter, fun, and possibly puppies. And let's get this one out of the way right at the beginning. Of course she can get it, right? I'd crawl through broken glass for a sniff, but that doesn't change that she is fundamentally incompatible with anything approaching cool gameplay. Now, homegirl's an 8-8, eight, eight, which is a lot, but you paid 8 mana, so fuck her, you earned that. She has flying, she has vigilance, she has indestructible, all the normal white bullshit, which, you paid 8 mana, I'll give you that one too. Other permanents you control have indestructible. That is crazy, but so is paying 8 mana, so you know what, fuck it, you earned that too. The problem is not actually her, it is the rest of the deck, which is commonly known as the entire United States nuclear arsenal. Because once all of your creatures are indestructible, it turns out the only sensible thing to do is begin wiping the board like the shit was dry erase. And they'll drop these things without even having her out, provided their board state's bad and your board state is good. Boom, right on that fucking reset button. You thought blue control was bad? These decks are like the third graders that would challenge you to everything under the sun and then demand that you start over as soon as you took the lead. In fact, your only hope is that they play this. Because then, at least most of the time, you can agree that the game is over and we can all go home after we beat Ricky's ass for playing this card. There are no paths this deck can take other than the world's most piss-scented pillow fort. In fact, 